Hello, welcome to the HBM Frequently Asked video series. My name is Jason Osborne. I'm an application engineer out of Detroit, Michigan. Today we're going to talk about torque alignment. We're going to talk about uh, rotary torque transducers, so the T12 family and the T40B family. So let's dive into these a little bit more. I've got a T12 up, but it's basically the same idea for the, the T40 family. Uh, you're going to have a stator. Um, that's the one on the left, and your floating rotor, the one that's on the right. Um, so on both of those, they have an antenna. Um, if you look at the, the stator section, it's the yellow uh, stripe that's on there. And if you look at the rotor, it's the red. Um, so let's dive into this a little bit more. I'm going to take a cross section of the rotor. Um, it's going to be a, basically, it looks like a capital H with the, the flange mount um, on both sides and the electronics in the horizontal part in the middle. So on the inside, where we have all of our strain gauges, um, we use uh, HBM proprietary strain gauges. Um, these are the ones that we don't sell um, to the public, but we also sell uh, other strain gauges for your other uh, application needs uh, through HBM. But the ones here are special custom for our torque transducers um, that we don't sell, like I mentioned. So on ours, in the horizontal part of the H, all of our uh, electronics and a Wheatstone bridge system is on the uh, inside of that that H. Um, so what this is going to do as you go to spin the Wheatstone bridge is getting pushed into the metal. So that's going to give you higher accuracy compared to um, some of our competition that have the the strain gauges and the Wheatstone bridge on the outside. So and there's on as you go to spin um, it tries to peel those strain gauges off causing a little bit of error, that's your measurement uncertainty. So let's talk about alignment. So when you first get your transducer, um, a lot of times there's a little red, stack of little red uh, rubber um, spacers that a lot of people think are packaging. Well, that's not really the case. Those are actually uh, alignment tabs uh, to set up your rotor and your stator when you first get your transducer. So with these tabs, there's a little red line on it. Um, looking at it from the side view, uh, where you're going to plug in your ports and your cables, um, the, the line matches up to right with the edge of the transducer. This is going to set your uh, rotor antenna in your axial direction. So with the thickness of it, it's going to set it in the uh, rotational direction. These are about 2 mil um, spacers. So on your rotor and stator, you can basically think of it as the world's smallest um, cell phone tower, uh, with the cell phone tower being the antenna and your cell phone being the rotor itself. So I've got a, a T40 uh, up here, and I wanted to illustrate a couple of things that I, that I mention uh, a lot in support calls. Um, I talk about the the. I talk about the power window, and I also talk about the data window. The power window is basically a, a little bit bigger. Um, if you can think about a, a cube that's basically around the, the rotor itself, where the antennas are. Um, with this, it's a telemetry system that's going to send power from your stator uh, into your rotor. Um, so the, and this powers all the electronics inside, and it also gives um, to the Wheatstone Bridge. Inside of this window um, is the next little smallest window. That's going to be your data window. So basically as long as your antenna is in both of these windows, you're going to be getting your data and your power and all the other information that you're getting from your rotor. For example, like rotor temperature, uh, your speed, and things like that. Uh, rotor temp is, is available on the T12 series but not on the T40, but you're still going to be getting your uh, power, your torque, and your speed. So if the rotor itself gets out of this data window, it's going to throw a rail value. That's going to be a real high value um, that's outside of the torque range. And what that is going to do, or what that intended to do, is to set a limit on your um, your rig, your test rig. and, and shut down the, the system. So what that's going to do, that could either be in the radial 
um, direction if you're in a, a T12. Um, so it's going to get outside of that, that range. Or it's in an axial direction, um, something is moving outside of that window. So this can happen in a couple different ways. If your rig um, spools up or if there's um, a little bit of slop in your rig and as the, the rig moves at a certain RPM, uh, you're going to get a little bit of movement. So that can happen. Um, the main thing is to obviously be cautious of the contact, make sure there's no contact between the rotor and stator because that, that can cause damage. Um, so there's a, a couple things that, that happen, um, and we got uh, quite a few calls on it, especially in the applications that are real high vibrations. So let's take this example. Uh, so on the face of the rotor, um, and then the face of the stator, in a real high vibration um, environment, such as like a race engine, um, sometimes what will end up happening um, is you will get the face of the rotor and the face of the antenna to start swaying back and forth a little bit um, with just the vibrations. So what could happen in that and what we've ran into before um, is sometimes that that will go into the out of the data window and you're going to get that rail value. So on in this case on the T40 series you have a mounting hole on the very top of your antenna um, that can be used as a mount and, and a guide to prevent that from happening. And then on the T12 series, uh, we've updated to the T12 HP um, to get rid of some of those um, additional vibrations and included um, an all aluminum frame instead of aluminum and plastic that's on the T12 series. So if you have a new T12 HP, we've already taken care of that for you. But if you have the um, T40 series, um, you may have to put uh, an additional bracket. So when this happens, when it gets out of that data window, you're going to get an amber light uh, on your um, actual stator itself. Um, but the biggest factor, and since the, the data is coming out a lot faster than that light can blink, um, you're going to notice it on your data at first. So if it gets out of that range, what it's going to end up doing, um, you're going to see those lights blinking again. And then you're going to see a, a pause in your data where it's going to go to that rail value. So when you're setting up your um, rotor and stator, uh, this one here, again, is a, is a T40 design, um, just because it has the, the antenna that goes all the way around. Um, this happens a lot if you don't have a speed measurement. If you are running speed, the, the, this application doesn't really apply because the speed is on this part of the, the second part of the rotor, and then that's set up there. So you want to make sure that your rotor and stator are aligned. Uh, the face of the rotor and the face of the stator is aligned. So in this example, I have um, a good design and a bad design of kind of where you want this. And this could be simply fixed as just switching your, um, your stator around to, to match. This is going to help align everything and keep everything in those windows that I had mentioned. So earlier in this video, I mentioned um, the LED status lights. So both the T12 and the T40 families have the status lights. So in the next couple of slides, I want to go over um, just what those uh, really mean. Like I said, it, it's going to change once you get outside of that range. Um, but your data is going to be the, the biggest factor because that's that's a lot faster, sampling a lot faster. So on the T40, uh, if it's green, everything is good, Volt, voltages is good. If it's flashing orange, the rotor and stator are mismatched. Um, so what I mean by mismatched is the alignment. Uh, like I said, it's not in, in that uh, regular window. If it's pulsating red, um, what that means is the rotor and stator is outside of the uh, power window. So the power is going into the stator, but it's not going into the rotor. So let's also look at the T12. With the T12, um, there's a couple different options with this. Um, you can go into measurement mode, and it's going to be the same. Green is, is good. Uh, yellow 
is uh, alignment issues, uh, borderline, and then red is the alignment is not okay. So these are all in your manuals, I'll go in more uh, details, but wanted to, to show you uh, a couple things and, and illustrate some of our, our alignment tools and, and things that we use and those windows that I'm referring to in some of our calls. If you have any further questions, please give me a call at our support line, 1-800-578-4260, or email us at support at usa.hbm.com. Thanks. Have a good one.